Hey everyone, it's me and Cassie, and we're glittered with grace. And it's my birthday. Happy well, it was birthday my birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mandy. Happy birthday to you. March is one of my favorite months because that means it's my birthday. <laughs> so I have gotten some amazing gifts and I've been holding off using them because I wanted to film this video because Cassie's on a no buy. I kind of feel sorry for her, so I haven't been buying as much either. <laughs> so haul videos are like non-existent right now. Yeah. Come summertime, you better watch out. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also my first ever Lush experience. I spit everywhere. <laughs> she's so excited. She's her wash. <laughs> so my birthday started off with my kids making me breakfast in bed. And I got vanilla yogurt with strawberries and bananas cut up and granola and an English muffin and coffee. Mm. It was very, very good. And my, my plan for the day was Cassie and I were going to go down to Pasadena to Lush and then meet up with our cousin for lunch because she like knows all the trendy LA places. So that was my head the whole time. So I'm eating breakfast and Brad says, I have a, a big gift for you. And I was like, what's your, my big gift? He said, uh, it's 145, my husband's really small, <laughs> 145 pounds of awesome. And I was like, you? And he said, yeah, he took the whole day off, which is kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um, kind of hard to get time off during the week if you haven't like planned ahead. So we obviously did plan ahead. And so secretly a little bit, I was kind of bummed because it's like, oh, I was kind of looking forward to going to Lush. <laughs> 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 but it ended up being really good. So um, he said we could go anywhere I wanted to go. And I Lush, like when we go in Bath and Body Works, he starts like sneezing and having a hard time. So I was like, I don't want to take him there because I don't want him to ruin my vibe. <laughs> so another place I wanted to go was Sprinkles Cupcakes because Fat Girl wanted a cupcake on her birthday. <laughs> so um, I found that um, The Grove in LA had Sprinkles Cupcakes. There was a couple other places, but I was like, well, that'll be fun for him too and we'll walk around The Grove, which it was. It was really fun. We went and ate at um, Cheesecake Factory and we mm -hmm. shared because we thought we were going to have a huge dinner that night. <laughs> <laughs> with everybody um but it was fine it was we walked around and did that and then on our way home we were passing by Pasadena and I was like let me just see where Lush is and it sure enough was like the very next exit so I'm like please can we go so we went yep. and I got my own birthday gifts a little bit so you're gonna see that you're gonna see my first experiences and yeah so let's get into this yep first and foremost, mm -hmm. these people, when they were in Louisiana, went to Dallas. And so this is from La Sista. I went I to Lush for the first time. Super rushed. I had 15 minutes to buy her present. So we had to get home. She got me a oh. bath bomb in Space Girl. It has glitter. And it, oh, I just sucked up glitter. Um, It smells mm -hmm. really good. I can't think of what mm -hmm. it smells like, but it smells. It almost smells like sweet tart or like candy to me. Yeah, all the Lush stuff is kind of like more herbally scents, which I really like. So, mm -hmm. we'll see what's in the middle of this one too. I think it's probably just like glittery. Mm -hmm. And then, what's this one? Which one is that? Tisty Tosty. Oh, it has rose, this one has yeah. rose petals in it. Yeah. So her middle name's Rose, so. Yeah. That would be cool. So, I, um, got that from Tosty. This one. Okay, it's really hard to make me cry <laughs> with gifts. So I'm like, oh yeah, I usually know what I'm getting. <laughs> but she made me this. And um, we should link the video below. Okay. But um, if you know me at all, I, a few, I think it was even before I was pregnant with Aubrey, it was mm -hmm. a few years ago, I had just like a word from the Lord about my value. And so I did like a whole little video on it and we showed it to our youth group at the time. But she made me this and it's, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to see. It says you are valuable. And it's pennies, which if you watch the video, you'll understand more, but pennies to me are like little love notes from God saying I'm valuable. So mm -hmm. this was a whole pretty, and I love it, and I want to hang it in my room, but the wall I want to hang it on 
is empty. So <laughs> we need more. Yeah, we need maybe more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was from my sister, and mm. she took all my kids all day. So it was just a date with Brad and I, which was amazing because we honestly have not had a day alone. I think since we lived here. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was. And then my kids, Toby, Lexi, Elijah, Aubrey, more Toby and Lexi because. They were the ones who went. Yeah. Got me. Okay, this one is a bath melt. Yeah, bath melt. Or bath. bubble bar. Bubble, bubble bar. And it is sunny side or something? Sunny side. Uh, crud. And this one smells like soap. But good soap. It's called sunny side. Sunny side. And it's really glittery. And then they got me a bath bomb in big blue, right? I think so. In big blue. And what the lady told them is if we do half and half, like half the bath bomb and the uh, bubble bar, it turns into mermaid water. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I seriously have been like, all this stuff has been in my room, like, I just want to take a bath and I want to use it. Okay, so I'll finish off Lush. So this is the stuff I bought for myself. And so, actually, I'm missing one thing. But Brad did go, and since it was more of a natural um, store natural smells. He actually really liked it and he didn't get like, there was one time when we went towards the bath bombs that he got a little sneezy, but that section's a little stronger. But other than mm -hmm. that, it was good. So he's like, oh, I actually like that store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I actually used something that I bought for myself. It was the bunny bomb. I don't know. It was like a seasonal one. And then I got, it was amazing. And then I got a bath melt in dream time because she said this is good for dry skin. It looks like it has oatmeal in it. It looks, all these, okay, all these bath bombs, mm -hmm. I just want to bite into them. They, <laughs> they look, look like delicious. White chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one definitely is chamomile smelling, which when I was in there, I realized how much I guess I love chamomile smell because everything I bought kind of had that. And then I got Breath of Fresh Air, which is like a, what does it say? <clears throat> Sorry. It's a toner water. A mineral rich sea breeze captured in a bottle treats your face to cooling aloe vera, soothing rose, and clarifying herbs, expertly blended for smooth, balanced skin. So, I saw other people talking about this, and I was like, oh, that's, I like toner waters. And she said, like the other ones I have, I kind of use <clears throat> under my makeup and over, and she said I could do that with this, but I feel like this one's too wet to use over my makeup. Okay. Like, I feel like it would streak it a little bit, but it's amazing under it. Smells so good like so refreshing and it feels like a breath of fresh air <laughs> <laughs> and then I got another little face thingy and I bought a little tin oh you had to buy the tin yeah it was like three something this I'm pretty positive is called amazing grace and it's a face serum so it kind of like melts when you touch it and like Ooh. you just rub it on your face and it's for like anti-aging anti-inflammatory which when <laughs> Yeah, everything's announced. I keep <laughs> holding back. Um, <laughs> but when I walked in, she said, we were, I told her I, I love face stuff, I love um, skin care. And she said, have you been hormonal lately? <laughs> and I was like, well, funny you should ask. I said, I'm actually expecting. She's like, oh, this one's perfect then because it helps with any like swelling and um, discoloration that might come from hormonalness. Oh. So I got it. And helps with anti-aging. I'm all for it because I don't want to look old. <laughs> and then I got the dream cream which all but Aubrey and myself in my house suffer with eczema. So she said this was formulated for eczema skin. Um, the founder's son had eczema. I love how all the products have like the pictures of the who pictures made it. Of who made it. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> um, so I got this more for Brad and the kids, mm. but it is our best-selling body lotion for sensitive skin made with an elegant, simple formula of so soothing oat milk, lavender, and rose water, which lavender and rose water are both for like soothing skin and all that good stuff. I really want to try the Dream, Dream Wash shower smoothie. I tested it, but I was like, no, I'm already spending too much money, so I'll wait. <laughs> and we have to do a redo of our... <laughs> Flush date. Yes. <laughs> and then, this is the last thing I bought. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this stuff's amazing. 
We should have done our first impressions because it was hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we should have. <laughs> but this is the Mint Julep Lip Scrub. And I am telling you this stuff, like, so she said, she was explaining it to me. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. it smells oh my gosh. It smells like the best gum ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was explaining to me, she's like, do you know how to use this? I'm like, no, it's my first time. I don't know how to use anything. So you just rub it on your lips to exfoliate, and then whatever's left over, you lick off. Mm. And I was kind of like, all right. She's like, it's just all, it's all natural stuff. You can totally eat it. So when I got home, the next day, Cassie came to check out what I got, and we were rubbing it, and then we licked it, and we're like, oh, oh, oh. this stuff's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, she said it was a three-in-one. It's a exfoliate, oh, yeah. snack, and breath mint. Yeah, breath mint, yeah. <laughs> it seriously, like, freshened your breath after. It was, mm -hmm. I think if I ever am without this, I'll cry. I need to get it. Mm -hmm. We need to go to Lush. Yes, we do. Because I need some stuff too. Yes, you do. But And then I got two samples of face creams because I just couldn't pull the trigger. So this one's actually for Brad because he was like totally into it and the lady was like picking up on it. She's like, I'm going to sell mm -hmm. this guy. Mm -hmm. And then, so it's called um, Cosmetic Lad. And she said it helps because he has facial hair. Um, them not come in, like he's been getting ingrown hairs, so she said it helps with that. And then I got Imperialis. Yeah. So, I haven't tried it yet, to be honest, I forgot I had gotten it. So, we'll see how it works. So that's my Lush. She is stocked. I am. I'm so excited too. It was so fun. Um, we're going to go back and I'm going to say again that it's my first time because they were so informative when you're like, oh, it's my yeah. first time. And it really will be kind of Cassie's. Yeah, I didn't really get a good experience when I went because I was just like, my sister's pregnant, what can she use, what can't she use, what should I give her, what's the best stuff, it's our first time, show me what you want. <laughs> and then I just got her the bath bombs, because I... It's overwhelming. It is. It's, yeah. Okay, and then, from Alice, this was a completely surprise gift. Um, I didn't expect anything, but she got me a of the Juicy Noir! Let me just show you the bottle. I mean, look at this bottle. It's huge. It's huge and it's beautiful. It's so pretty, you're so pretty. I love you and you smell so good. Spray it. <sighs> Do you have perfume on yet? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this was, oh I know, it smells so good. We saw it Christmas time. Mm -hmm. You probably saw us see it because that's Lost. all we did in December. <laughs> was shop. And I wanted it, but I don't know, perfume is kind of a hard purchase for me to get for myself because it's kind of a lot. It's Mm -hmm. usually all of my allowance for the month and even though I love it and I want it like I could think of 10 other things I yeah. want more. so it was such a nice gift and when I did think okay I'm gonna get it for myself it was sold out so I mean, they've been out of it for a while and Alice during um, spring break she went to San Francisco and Vegas so she probably got it in San Francisco yeah but it's amazing so thank y'all and then from one of our friends at church I got a Bath and Body Works shower gel and Beautiful Day, which I also really love the scent too. It's just yeah. fresh. You can really smell like the apple -y. I love it. And then Kevin got me a camera bag. I haven't, this is another thing that I just can't pull the trigger. Like even though I need it because like going to Disneyland and stuff, the beach, all this stuff, I bring my big nice camera and just leave it out for the elements. But <laughs> I always have a hard time making big purchases like this. So, he got me a camera case. I'm so excited. So thoughtful too. It is, it's very, very thoughtful. So he's so sweet. And then, besides the 140 pounds of awesome that is my husband as my gift, he also got me. Ooh, your face is gone. A silhouette cameo. I think it's called a cameo is actually what it's called. It, if you don't know what it is, can you see? Oh. <laughs> Watch your head. Whoa. Um, I had actually been borrowing one from my stepmom. She couldn't figure out how to use it herself. She's like, do you want to try it? So we had it like all November, December up until like February. And we loved it. We made so many like projects and crafts and stuff. So I was so sad. Um, but yeah, so we had been playing with it, but it's hers. And she wanted it back because she wanted to try to learn. And I was like, oh, man, right before Easter. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, there's so many crafts I can make for yeah. Easter. Um, so Brad got me one. It's 
half selfish though because he needs me to make stuff for a kids church. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. <laughs> However the way, just you got it. Yep. <laughs> so that was my, we went to dinner. We went to Chili's for dinner. We were going to go to another restaurant but it didn't work out. But it's okay. <laughs> Next time maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so that is my birthday It was oh. quite an adventurous dinner I might add really quick. Oh my gosh. Aubrey spilled water. Like the second my girl gave her the water, she went boop. It was fun. And then she was just in a bad mood. She was being awful. She wanted on the table. She wanted nothing to do with anything until she wanted to. And there was a lady staring at us. And then I was dumb and mentioned it. And Brad was like, who? Who? Is that lady right there? Don't like, talk about ah! my kids. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just like, it ended up like, they told the waitress it was my birthday. But I was like, can I get it to go? Yeah, <laughs> like, I was just... We need out of here. We're done. It was a weird weather day. It was super windy. And I'm telling you, when it's windy, people are grouchy. Mm -hmm. And it's always windy here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, yeah, it was an awesome birthday. I had such a good time. And the next one is Casas. May 7th, baby. So we just got to get through April. Come on. And then June, she gets her allowance back. So. Yeah! <laughs> We will be hauling it up. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, this is the last haul for a minute. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.